restaurant where I played guitar. I saw her and some guy there together. I saw him propose to her. I'd give her a huge diamond ring. <laughs> Something I could never afford to give her. All I really want to know is whether or not she broke up with me before she started dating that guy. Or did she start dating him? before she broke up with me. Is it that important? Yes. I'm so heartbroken. Dudu and I were so in love with each other. We came to Shanghai together. We didn't have hardly anything, but we were so happy just having each other. Now everything is different. I really don't know whether the world changed us, or if it was us who changed the world. Xiaoming, listen to me. When Liu Guangyao and I were still married, when we were still living together, I believed that he and I were going to grow old together. I used to think that even if I met Andy Lau, even if Andy Lau came to date me, I wouldn't get a divorce. Who is Andy Lau? I don't know him either. But I do know Dudu. Back in the beginning, we made a vow together. Until the seas dried up and all the rocks crumbled, until the world ended, we would always be together, but that was all bullshit. Tell me the reason. There is no reason. This is what life is. This is what God decided for you. Listen to me. Bao Jiaming, no matter how difficult life is, you have to pick yourself up. And move on, let me teach you something. When you're upset, you can always remember. Regardless of who walks out on me, no matter what, God still loves me more than anyone. He will never abandon me. This way, you'll never be scared of anything. I think that would help you. I'm scared. My best friend in the world. My best friend in the world, Xiong, left me. Dudu left me. My house is gone. My job is gone. You shouldn't say things like that, all right? Well, why don't you compare yourself with me? Your girlfriend, Dudu, left you. I lost my family. We're pretty much even on that, right? I didn't take their money. I don't have a lot of money right now. You lost your job, so you don't have a lot of money either. We're pretty much the same, too. But you are very attractive, which is more than I can say. And you're still young. You have more time to waste. But I'm almost 40 now. That's another one for you, so now you have two more going than me. Not to mention the fact that I'm pregnant now with a fatherless baby. You can tell me whose life is worse. You're comparing yourself to me? Compare up, there's nobody. Compare down, there's Yu Xiaoqiang. Well, that's me, Yu Xiaoqiang, at the bottom, and you're on the top. So that's the way you like it. <laughs> Let's go! I'm not going! Where can I go? I lost my apartment! Then why did you tell me you had a place to stay? I'm leaving if you don't. Just go then. I've caused you enough trouble. Xiaoqiang... I'm so sorry for everything. If I had never gone to fix your computer... Then you would have never seen those photos. If I had never rented out the room just to get money to buy a bag for Dudu, and if I didn't just so happen to live next to Lan Xin, you would have never rented the room. If I had never seen Guang Yao go over to Lan Xin's, I wouldn't have snuck onto a balcony with you. If I hadn't felt sorry for you, none of this would have ever happened. 
At least you'd still have your family. Xiaoming, I've thought about all those ifs. I thought about every single one of them. But there are no ifs in this world. The only thing is, is the reality that happened. about that. Tell me. No. But now, it just happened. Why are we using your ID card? He doesn't have his ID card right now. His landlord is holding it at the moment. The landlord took back the house. She needs to settle the utility bill, so she took the card to make sure he doesn't run away. I don't care about that. It's about following our rules. Who pays if you break them, huh? Huh? Xiao Chong. Oh, hey. Here's the honey. Oh. Some honey water may sober him up. Thank you. I'll bring it back to you in the morning. <laughs> no worries, no worries. <laughs> Remember to take care of yourself. You'd better get some rest, okay? <laughs> I know. Make sure you get some rest, too. Okay? Yeah, okay. Call me if you need anything, okay? Okay. Thank you. Jiaming, Jiaming, have some water. It's honey water, okay? Open up, open up. This will sober you up. Open your mouth. Drink, drink. Miss Gwen, mm -hmm. are you cooking pig bung soup? Yes, um, it's been simmering all morning. Mm. Oh, did you buy some fish? Yes, um. All right, go watch the stove then. All right. All right. Uh. Hey, Mrs. Gao, you're back. I'm all right. Go mind your business. Oh, look at you. I don't have any other business. My only business right now is taking good care of you. Thank you. I have Miss Guan. Guang Yao, right. help me back to my room. Oh, okay, slowly. Oh, uh, careful. No, thank you, dear. It's easier to walk with only one person helping me. Hey, careful, careful, careful. Uh, Mrs. Gao, then you get settled in. Dinner will be ready soon, okay? <sighs> Guang Yao, to be honest, while I was staying in the hospital, she was always there for me. She did help me out a lot. Well, isn't that a good thing? <laughs> you have to see the good side of a person, right? Yeah, but I still don't approve of your relationship. I'm in no rush. You may not be, but she is. She was only there because she wants to get married, right? It's understandable. Mm. Mom, do you think 
Xiao Chang was better, or her. <laughs> is home raised chicken better, or is foreign chicken better? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Before, when she was living here, do you tell Chang ever do any cooking? Oh, yeah, she was a great cook. She could make a whole lot of food, a whole table, even faster than I. Mrs. Gao, she hired me to take care of her, but she would always end up helping me with the housework instead. <laughs> oh? Oh, Mrs. Yu's calling me. Hi, Mrs. Yu. Yeah, Mrs. Gao's back home now. Mr. Lil brought her. All right, hang on. All right, all right, here I'm looking for it. Ah, oh, ma'am, it's right here in my hand. All right, later when I'm not busy, I'll bring it over to you, all right? No problem. What was that? Ah, oh, Ms. Yu left some of her stuff here, like this cup here. I'll take it over to her when I'm done. The two of you still keep in touch? When Mrs. Gao was in hospital, Mrs. Yu called and asked about her every day. She really cares about Mrs. Gao. She already left. Why didn't she take all her stuff with her? I don't rightly know. Perhaps one day she'll come back and she'll need all of it. How about this, Miss Gwen? Mrs. Gao just came home. She's going to need your help. Why don't I take it to her? Huh? Why the huh? Give me the address. Hey, who are you looking for? Hi, ma'am. Is the person living here home? Oh, she went to the market, and the market is pretty far away. She won't be back for at least a couple of hours. <laughs> Can I give her a message? Uh, well, I was just... Oh, Jiaming, why are you here? What are you doing here? Is Yu Xiaoqiang here? I doubt it. Do you live here? None of your business. <sighs> You're right, it's not. Thank you so much, ma'am. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. <sighs> Bao Jiaming, did you drink a little too much last night? <sighs> you had Yu Xiangqiao worried to death, you know? You can't do that again. Think about it. She's pregnant now. If something were to happen, could you take care of her? That's my fault. I shouldn't have drank as much as I did. I passed out on the couch. Do you know where Xiao Chang went? She's at the market. Oh. Who was that woman who that was just here? Not a very nice person. <laughs> just look at you. You're still not sober. Go wash your face and sober up. It's all right. It's all right. I'll go make some porridge, okay? Thanks a lot, Apo. <laughs> Xiao Qiang, she's way too nice to you.
Yu Xiao Tiang. You look good. Congratulations on your nice new life. Is that any of your business? No, it isn't. But who would have guessed that you would start living with your new little boyfriend and at the same time stay in touch with Mrs. Gao's maid just to know what's going on? That must be hard for you. I get the feeling you went to my house. You got my address from Xiao Guan, didn't you? Help me understand. I asked Miss Guan if she can bring me stuff I left, and it made you nervous? Is this what you wanted? There's your name, Yu Xiaotiang, right there. He gave it to you, right? Give it. I bet it carries a lot of beautiful memories of yours, doesn't it? Are you jealous? Don't embarrass yourself, okay? <laughs> Yu Xiaotiang, don't be stupid. Would I embarrass myself in front of you? Just look at you, you should be embarrassed. Living with that boy, that alcoholic. If Liu Guan Yao knew about this, I'm sure he'd feel happy he divorced you. He'd probably think that he should have done it sooner. Let me give you a little wisdom. The kind of woman a man chooses is a reflection of what kind of taste he has. You couldn't make it worth with Liu Guang Yao, so you lost your marriage. You understand? Oh, something else you should know. He and I are getting married. You know what? Do whatever you like. I don't care what you two do. I don't care. Give me my cup. Anyone could see. This cup here is like your life. It's just like the marriage between you and Liu Guang Yao. It's already broken, and there's no way you'll ever repair it. You should probably just throw it away. Stop picking it up. Who is this show for? It might hurt your hand and hurt your heart. My mother gave me this cup. One year, she went to Jing Dejen on business, and she had this cup made for me. Before my mother died, she said, no matter where she goes, I'll always be her daughter. Today, you broke it on purpose. I'll remember that for the rest of my life. From now on, I'll always hate you. I'll curse you. It's a sweater for my granddaughter. <laughs> How are you so smart? With just two sticks and a little wool, you can make a sweater. That's like <laughs> magic to me. If you want, I'll teach you. Me? Huh? <laughs> oh, Xiao Xiang, welcome back. Hey, Granny. Hey, Xiao Xiang. All right, all right. Xiao Xiang's back. I have to go home and cook. Take your time uh, with your food, huh? Okay. Uh, I'll bring the bowl back to you later today. All right, all right. Hey, Xiao Chang. Last night I drank way too much. I'm sorry. Did I do anything stupid? Uh, I kind of blacked out. I'm not sure how I got to your place. You're not mad, are you? If it's all good with you, I'll leave in a little bit. Xiao Chang? Come in. What? Come in. Xiao Chang, you all right? Take me to the hospital. You, what's wrong? 
I'm bleeding. Huh? the hospital now. Xiao Chang's bleeding. <sighs> Doctor, is Yu Xiao Chang going to be alright? Is the baby okay? We'll let you know. We're still running tests. Now, it's about the baby. You're the baby's father. What if something bad happened? You've got to be here. Gao Jiaming. You be careful what you say. Who's the baby's real father? Yu Xiaoqiang and Liu Guangyao have gotten a divorce. If you keep bothering us like this, I'll have to call the police. <sighs> hey, I'm leaving. Oh. It's windy outside. Why is the door open? Uh, uh, I need some fresh air. All right. It, where's my phone? Uh, it's right here. I was getting it for you. Oh, okay. I'm off. Mm, okay. Mr. Liu, I have three things to report. First, Lanshin's marketing plan has been implemented. So far, our online sales have been very successful. <laughs> That's great. Second, Mr. Pan from Ronghua Foundation wants to have dinner. He suggested tomorrow evening is waiting for your reply. Hmm. Third, someone named Bao Jianming called and left a message. Why the hell did he call? The next time he calls, just ignore it. Uh, but he said... There is no but. You can go. Okay. Doctor, how is she? Don't worry, don't worry. She's fine. What about the baby? The baby is also fine. Oh. Xiao Chang's fine. She has low progesterone levels and her blood pressure is a bit high. She needs to rest. I think she should stay in the hospital for a few days. You should go fill out some forms. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Liu, you called? Hmm. What did you just say a minute ago? Bao Jiaming called here looking for me, right? That's correct. What did he say on the phone? I tried to tell you, but you stopped me. Well, I'm asking you now to tell me. Well, it's your wife. Your ex-wife, Yu Xiaoqiang. She's in the hospital. He wanted me to tell you, just in case. In the hospital? Uh, yes. Do you need the address at the hospital? Yeah, go get it. Okay. Xiaoqiang, you really freaked me out. If anything happened to the baby, anything at all, it would be because of me. I'd be a murderer. It has nothing to do with you. Why nothing to do with me? It was because of me you had to go to the police station, then come get me from the bar. Then you practically had to carry me home at the end of the night. Let alone a pregnant woman like you. That would be a lot even for a normal person. Xiao Chang, you were so unlucky to meet me. Then you have to be a good boy from now on. Yeah. Actually, I've had some time to think about some things in my life. Dudu's dating Kevin now, so forget about her. Why did I get drunk? It's a, such a waste of time. I got busted for letting all those people stay with me. So I should just apologize and accept my punishment, right? What's the point of thinking about it? My job is gone, so just find a new one. And I fell out with Xiong, but so what? People come and people go, right? Actually, compared to life, compared to the baby, these problems aren't even that important, you know? And you know, I was thinking, just a random thought, if for some reason the baby is gone, I'll give you two babies in the future. <laughs> Who are you going to make babies with? 
Dumbass. <laughs> to be honest, it wasn't you. It was Lanshin. Lanshin? She went to your place to find you. She stopped by me when I was walking back home. She said a lot of things and tried to hurt me. She said something, and my stomach just cramped up. Then she said something else, and my stomach, it started hurting. It hurt so bad, it was a struggle to walk the rest of the way home. No wonder. No wonder she was yelling like a barking dog on the phone. What did you call her for? I called Liu Guangyao, and she picked up. Then I left a message at his office. Don't worry about calling them anymore. Oh. Here. <sighs> Try it out. See if you like it. Not bad. <sighs> Thank you, Mrs. Go. Sit. <laughs> Lanshin, when I was in the hospital, you were always there to take care of me. Your feelings for my son, I understand. <sighs> Mrs. Go, that was as much as I should do. Next time, if there's anything you want to eat or anything you need, all you have to do is ask. I have a lot of experience in taking care of people. <laughs> I remember when my grandma's sister was in the hospital, I took care of her all by myself. Oh, Mrs. Gao, did I tell you? My grandma and her sister, they're twins, you know? My family, having twins runs in our genes. You know, I've heard people say that this gene jumps a generation. I was kidding with him. I said, if we get married and have kids, I'll probably give you a set of twins. Anjin, <laughs> you and my son still aren't married. Wouldn't you agree? It's a little early to think about that. Not to mention the fact I still don't know how I really feel about you. <sighs> yeah, you're right, Mrs. Go. I know that you really don't like me very much. But I, I think it's because you haven't had a chance to get to know me. And if, I'm saying if, I really do get married to him, I'll take good care of you and also him. And I'll give you a grandson as soon as I can to carry on your family name. Are you okay? I asked the doctor. He said there's no big problem. You just need to rest for a while. Come get your food outside. Lunchtime. Where's your bowl? I'll get you some food. No, thanks. Someone will bring me food later. <sighs> I'm 
I'm feeling better now. You don't have to stay. I'm, I'm not busy today. I can stay here with you. I need some sleep. Just go back to work. Get some rest then. I won't bother you. Call me if you need anything. Okay. I'm gonna go. Hey. Sorry, but I need to ask you something. Hmm. Is the baby mine or not? What do you think? Of course it's yours. Then tell me why your girlfriend came to my house and said the baby's yours. You should probably go ask Lanshin first. If she hadn't made things up, and caused problems first, Dudu wouldn't have gone to your place. If Lansian and Mars was about to hit Earth, would you believe it? Then if Dudu said Pixie is Monkey King's uncle, you believe that? I wouldn't. Neither would I. Yu Xiao Chang. I brought you some chicken noodle soup. Ah, Po made it herself. I was gonna pick some up from a restaurant, but it probably wouldn't be that clean. It's your special time anyway. She's so nice, it took her a long time to cook it. Mm. Oh, it's too hot. You can drink it a little bit later. Here, take one of these and wipe your hands first. It's important to keep clean. You didn't happen to run into anyone on your way here, did you? I saw Liu Guangyao. Then why didn't you tell me? It's none of my business. Did he do anything to you? He would. Did you do anything to him? I wanted to, but I didn't want to spill the soup, so I let him go. Then what if you weren't carrying the chicken soup? I'd still let him go. Why would I waste my time on some nobody? I've got more important business to do. What business? Big things. Bao Jia Ming. Quiet. I learned this from Ah Po. I'm practicing the basic skills right now. I want to knit a little hat for the baby. And when I get better at it, I'll make you a scarf, all right? Bao Jia Ming! Hey, shut it! Yu Xiao Chang. Temperature. Oh, okay. <clears throat> what are you looking at? Mind your own business, all right? Oh. Oh. What do you mean, oh? It moved. Something's moving? The baby moved. Stay still. Can you feel it? No. It moved. No way. It really moved. It's really not. 
Normally women will have fetal movement after the fourth month. It's only your second month. How could it move? Then what if it's... it's just precocious? Darling, you're being too nervous. <sighs> Probably. Hey, but Bao Jiaming. Hmm? How do you know that women start having fetal movement after the fourth month? Me? I've talked to Dr. Fung a lot. She's taught me a lot of professional things. I'm half a doctor now. Next time you have a question about something, just ask me. If I may... I need silence. I'm kind of busy right now. Hey, you're back. You're still here. Yeah. You told me to stay with your mom, right? She fell asleep after Miss Gwen left. I was afraid that she would need help, so I was gonna leave after you came back. Oh. Is everything all right? She's fine. I made her soup. She had two bowls of oh. it. <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you very much. <sighs> you're welcome. I'm gonna go then. Okay. Lan Xian. Huh? I'll drive you. Okay. Okay. Let's go. It's late. You should go home. I'll go to sleep. Go to sleep. You think I can fall asleep with you sitting here? You will. Oh, I keep forgetting you have nowhere to live. You see that? I remember everything about you. How could you forget such a thing? Are you really my sister? Xiao Chang, I thought about it. Nobody's sleeping here anyway. I can just crash here. It'll be cool for one night. There's a curtain in the middle. Close it and we won't bother each other. All right? You're gonna sleep here? Yeah. Well, I'm fine with it. But what if the doctor makes rounds? If he kicks me out, I'll go. Then I'll sneak back in after he leaves. Are you a gorilla? Yeah. You know what the first rule of being a gorilla is? It's never to reveal yourself. So when I'm sleeping, I won't snore or grind my teeth or fart, of course. So you don't have to worry about it. You can sleep here tonight. But I'm leaving the hospital tomorrow. What are you going to do then? I've thought about that, too. I'll go live with you. You'll live with me? Yeah. My apartment? Yeah. I'm not sure. It's a great idea. Well, it was only because you were drunk yesterday. I didn't know where else to put you. It was a special case. Well, then we can just turn the special case into a normal case. Look, you came to work as my maid when you didn't have a place to live. It's only fair that I be your maid, right? At least I kind of look like a maid. Hmm. But do you look like a maid at all? <laughs> Who would believe it? It would just make people gossip. Don't care what other people say, all right? Can you just care about me? I lost my girlfriend, I lost my job, and I lost my best friend to boot. All this bad stuff came crashing down at once. There's a dark cloud of emotion crushing me. You know what? You're now the guru of my soul. The spirit animal I never had. I rely on you so much. Xiao Chang, I think I really need you. And I believe that you need me too, don't you? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Good. Look, you're gonna be a mother now, right? Mothers all have some kind of maternal love. Just give some care and love to your little brother here. Taking me home is also doing good for yourself. The blessings will go to your kid in the future. Really? Yeah. Well, I'll take that as a yes, then. Go to sleep. I want to knit some more of this. Stop knitting. You haven't even made one right stitch tonight. All right. I can't even open my eyes. Good night.
Don't peek at me. Oh, oh, oh. 